Hey hey hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Dart and today we're playing Medieval Angel. My Dr. Don't Little. Last episode, we started at the psychiatrist. Amber was just telling about a secret when Drake rudely interrupted her session. Remember the other time? Next, she was back at her house. Sir Wolfsalot woke her up and shortly after Rina came barging in for money. Apparently they're organizing a charity event to release Mel, the chicken conspiracy guy from the asylum. Amber being the good girl ended up being the one who has to sell 25 tickets in one day. Mega Spark, I can't believe how much this place has changed after the assassination attempt on the king. It's now full of chaos people and tourists, so it's the perfect place to start. Hmm, okay. Let's go check it out. The old lady comes here every day to feed us. Today it seems she forgot to bring the food. I don't have anything against the old lady, but if I get white bread again, I'll get diabetes and she will have a dirty dress. Well, I'm a crumbs lady. I'm freaking out. Gosh darn it. I get out of my face. Uh, what did I do? Nothing, Amber. You're just the black sheep again. <laughs> Now, let's uh, continue walking. Kind of uh, a walking simulator this episode, but yeah. Hey, uh, chef! Boogaga boogaga! You look busy, what you up to? Boogity boogity, sacrificing potatoes to tomato god, lugage! So, same as usual, huh? Boogagi boogati! Take this potato and have someone eat a piece of it. They're so bad and be trapped in it. Uh, Chef, you already tried it with Officer Polly, and he's still pretty much full of it. Ugagi Butati! Need someone with a corrupt soul! Find that person for me and you can apple pie at the cafeteria! With an offer like that, who am I to refuse? <laughs> she loves herself some good apple pie. Wait, is that Prince Bernard? Oh well. First, let's go check out the chicken uh, rally. Is there a chicken rally? I don't know. Let's find out. Hello, is someone here? Nope. Oh, yeah. Sparkers, where are you? Is there a problem, ma'am? I took my puppy dog for a walk, but it seems he ran too far and now I can't find a way back. What did it look like? Maybe I can help. It's a white puppy with black spots who responds to the name Sparkles. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, my lady. I will find your doggy. So, bear with me people, this will be some walking, but I'll make sure to edit it out if it's too long of a walk. Hey, uh, are you okay? You're sweating a lot. What? Who are you? Stay the hell away from me! Uh, hey, hey, calm down, I'm a police officer, maybe I can help? This stupid girl will get us both killed. I have to distract her somehow. Uh, hey, I'm just a bit hungry, that's all. Hey, you got a potato! Give it to me! Uh, wait, that's... <laughs> what the hell? This tastes as if it has been a job living on back! Well, considering it's the chef, I don't think it might be entirely false. Take your stupid potato and leave me alone! <laughs> oh, damn it! How long have I been talking to you? I need to get going! Wait, I... Shut up, stupid girl. I have to go. Don't bother me anymore. <laughs> wow, rude. Good day, my lady. You're the perfect person. Uh, perfect for what? Why, isn't it obvious? Oh god, no. To judge the best mustache in the Grand Mustapri. What? We have been trying to decide which of us had the best mustache, but to no avail. So we decided to have someone else decide, so my lady, please choose which of us four has the best mustache. Oh god. Uh, I think I left something in the oven. No, please don't go. We've been standing here for hours waiting for someone to come by. It seems I don't have a choice in the matter. Like always. Okay, let's just talk to all of them. I prefer my mustache to be rough rather than smooth to give me a manly look. I also keep my hair long to complement my mustache, even if it's a huge inconvenience while operating on a patient. No. <laughs> no. Please notice my very white skin helps the mustache look so prominent. Some even say that I look like Count Dracula. 
Surprisingly, I'm also allergic to garlic and veal fairy week in the light. Okay, no. Mustaches and beards go hand in hand with each other. My mustache to beard ratio is one third. Maintaining it is very hard. My wife divorced me because of the money I spent on maintaining my mustache and married some clean shade freak instead. Okay, you get the pity win. Yep, you get the pity win. Congratulations. I guess yours is pretty good, so you win? Really? You see me now, Riley? I bet you regret leaving me now, eh? He should really get his priorities straight. Yeah, he should. But he won't. That was so exhilarating. Capital choice, my lady. If there is anything you need, let me know. Actually, we're holding a charity play and I was hoping you would buy a ticket to find your cars. Wait a second. Is this the one that Ina and Mina are performing? Yes. Do you know them? Know them? They're my kids. And I completely forgot about the show. Uh, sir, are you sweating? I just realized how close I was to death. Thanks for reminding me, otherwise Ina would have robbed me blind because I missed it. Just to be sure, I'll buy two for me and my wife and three for my mustache buddies. I hit the jackpot! Uh, thanks for your generous donation. Just make sure that when Ina asks about me, tell them I already had tickets. Sure, mate, sure. Next up, Sir Lore. There goes my only vacation day. Sir Lore from the council? What are you doing here? My wife thought it would be a great idea to bring the daughters to the lake for a fun time. But after some time I realized my golden ring is missing. I already told you I didn't take it. Stop accusing us, Dad. It was probably someone else. No, I'm pretty sure it was one of you. Miss, are you a police officer? Yes, but it's my day off and I... I don't care about your excuse. Search all these girls and don't stop until you find a ring. No! I would rather die! Yeah, I don't want some random person touching me. <sighs> How about I question them first? Fine, but hurry it up. Okay, let's do this counterclockwise. I'm not the thief, I was not even near the lake when it happened. Okay, I believe you. No? I couldn't have done it, I was fishing when it happened. Okay. Ah, I was taking a bath in the lake when it happened. I'm not the thief. Okay, so everybody is going to say they're on the thief. But what, Ronnie, Millie, huh? I couldn't be the thief because I'm afraid of the lake. Besides, I wasn't with Millie the whole time. Okay, so who is lying? Mm, must be one of these two. Um, if Millie is lying, then it wouldn't make sense what the other one down there says so if i go with my gut it must be the one down there with the green hair yeah she she's lying she definitely is lying yeah lena please stop lying me was at the lake bathing so you can't be with her since you're afraid of the lake i i damn it lena confess now but, but the ring looks so good on me. If you like it, then maybe instead of stealing, you should work hard for it. Then you can buy it with your own money. I... I suppose so. I, I'm really sorry, everyone. Well, all's well that ends well, I suppose. I forgive you. I won't forgive you. Jilly, you're overreacting again. Ah, fine, I forgive you. Thank you for your help. Uh, of course, Sir Lor. Happy to help. I noticed you're selling tickets to a kids show. If you still have any, I would like five tickets. Sir, you don't have to buy it for me. I was just trying to help. It's not for that. It's payback time for messing with my only vacation day. The girls are set through the whole play. <laughs> <laughs> That's heavy payback. <laughs> okay, so, oh, Mila. I swear my head will explode at this rate. Is something wrong, Miss Miller? Oh, uh, hey, sorry, I was just preoccupied with something. Maybe I can help? 
Well, my supplier just sold some bad vegetables to me, so I wanted to return it, but I'm having a hard time calculating it. How so? I never cared to look before, but this guy uses weird methods to calculate his sales in order to avoid taxes. Do you want to give it a try? Uh, sure. Oh, damn, what? Oh, okay, it's one of these. So, leak plus leak plus leak is 15, means leak is 5. And then the upper two uh, equations are, say, guessing tomato is 10, potato is 20, 10 plus 10 is 20 is 40. Then potato plus tomato plus leek is 20 plus 10 plus 5 is 35, which means potato times leek is 5 times 20 is 100. Am I correct? <laughs> Finally! Yeah, it's 100. I'm 100% I'm sure it's 100. Yeah. Hey, that makes sense. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. What kind of taxes is your supplier trying to evade? How did I know? Anyways, I noticed you're trying to sell some tickets for charity, right? Put me down for two tickets. I'll be bringing my friend along, who could really use some cheering up. Thanks a lot, you, you won't be disappointed. And how do you know? Also, here, I have your daily sandwich ready for you. I can have my daily customer starve now, can I? <laughs> Thanks, it's just I'm too busy today to eat. I guess I'll eat while walking. <laughs> hey, have you seen a puppy around here? Why? Just because I'm a dog, I know all the dogs. Is that what you're implying? Stop making this political. Have you seen a dog named Spark? Is it not? Yeah, Amber, you're 100% correct. Stop making everything political. Oh, it's a doggy. Oh no, it's a puppy. The last puppy. Yay. It's a beast! My lady, take cover, I'll protect you! No, it's the lost puppy. Come here. He tried to bite me! Of course he will, he doesn't know you. You will have to bribe him. Bribe? What could I possibly give him? Psst. Hey, lady. What the, who's there? I know how to get the little guy to like you. Meet me at the place with the fire and we can talk. Who are you? He ran away. I guess he's waiting at the location he mentioned. The place with the fire? Where even is that? Oh, come on, Amber. You're a police officer. You should know that the only place in this main park is the fireplace of the chef. Oh, dear. What do I do? Is there a problem, ma'am? Uh oh, hello. My name is Joanna and this is my garden. Nice Santa hat, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Amber, a police officer. An officer? Thank God, could you help me for my problem? As you can see, some unruly rabbits have gotten in my garden and are ruining my fields. This is our garden now, we must see the means of production. Uh, communist rabbits? I have a plan, but that requires two people, so can you help me capture them all? Uh, capture them all, okay. Wonderful, let's go! They roll the rabbits one by one in front of me and I will capture them. Okay, so I talk to the animals, I guess. It's like the government doesn't carrot at all. <laughs> Carrots. <laughs> I demand a lawyer. Okay. Why are we in the carrot fields anyway? We like radishes more. No, I think of my 256 children. Please let there be a big spaniel reference. You'll never catch me alive. Okay. Oh no, it's the police. Run. Eh. What's up, Doc? Haha, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there had to be a big spaniel meme. Come on.
Thank you very much for your help. It's what I do. As a token of my thanks, I'll purchase one ticket for your show. I hope to see you around more. <laughs> thanks a lot. See you. Alright, 12 more tickets to go. Is someone up here? No one. Okay, so that means I've gotta go and talk to that mole. Yeah. See you there. Well, well, you actually found me. A mole? You were the one who contacted me? I wanted to see for myself whether or not you can really hear us animals. I have no idea how I'm doing this myself. So, lady, what's your name? Uh, it's Amber. Amber Hart. Nice to meet you, Miss Amber. Now to business. I know how to get your boy home. Really? How? Dogs love showing dominance. Have the little guy win over the big one. It'll put him in an instantly good mood. I can't believe I'm learning psychological warfare from a rodent. Good seeing you, lady. This was a freebie to show my skills. You know where to find me for the future deals. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I guess I want to go to the old lady up here first because I think I have a sandwich with me and she needed bread. Hey, kids, give me that sandwich. Uh, but it's my lunch. I forgot my bread to feed the pigeons at home, so I need the bread from your sandwich. Uh, that's really unreasonable. Fine, here, I'll buy a ticket to your stupid show. Happy? Usually when it comes to food I don't negotiate, but I'll have to make an exception for today. Alright, 11 more to go. Thanks, I guess? Um, Frank, why are you zooming out on her? Frank? Hmm? Because I can! Yes, but why? Oh, you dirty bastard, that's really disgusting! Oh, come on! Let an old man have his fun! How do you youngsters say it? Gee, thick? No! Frank, just no, please! I don't need to see nor hear this! She's a beautiful blossom for her age! Yeah, well, considering she's from the Middle Ages, it's quite the feature to still be alive. I wouldn't mind being the bee that gets to pollinate her. Frank! No, please, stop! I'll do anything but stop before I imagine the chicken wings on both of you. Oh, crap, it's too late. Huh, <laughs> you don't have a refined taste yet. Once you're my age, you'll learn to appreciate it. I do have refined taste. I love me a well-aged rum. It's not difficult to drink something when your taste buds are all destroyed because of all that garbage you dump in your body. You really should try fast food before judging it. Perhaps on the day I'll die, then I could blame it on the foods. Perhaps we should continue the video. Yes, you're right. Alright, so now I need to get to that puppy. Hey, uh, I need you to be fake scared of sparkles. What? Never! I'll not stoop so low. Come on, for me. You drive a hard bargain, but I still refuse on the ground that it will shatter my pride. Alright, fine, I guess I don't mean anything to you. No, <sighs> fine, I'll do it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what a big scary dog. Eee, I am so scared. Good boy, Sparkles, you're very brave. Come here, little guy. Great, now I'll only have to return him. Good, meanwhile I'll go and collect the shadow piece of my bride. Sorry for putting you through this. The things I do for love. <laughs> there we go. Sparkles, it's you! Thank you, thank you very much. Just doing my job. No, it's more than that. You have a gift. Sparkles doesn't feel comfortable around strangers, mostly. I wouldn't exactly call it a gift. Nonsense! Everything in life is a gift if you know how to use it. So stay positive in, your, in life. Mm. Animals have a keen sense. If they like you, then I'm pretty sure you're on the right path. 
<laughs> Thank you. I needed to hear that. I also noticed you're wearing a Santa hat in January. Party hat? And uh, now I'm selling tickets to a kid show which is for charity. Oh, I know that one. My kid is there too. I was heading there to get the tickets. Since you're here, give me four tickets. Hey, here we go. Uh, thank you for your support. You're welcome. Alright, so we did that one. Um, did I miss something? I've talked to the chef. I've done the lady part. Wait, did I talk to the chef? I did talk to the chef, yeah. If I've done everything with Vilroll, so Laura, I've done everything as well. Um, oh wait, that's new. That's it. I'm going to end it now. Uh, what's going on here? Don't try to stop me. I'm going to jump. Uh, you do know that water is only two feet deep, right? Lady, do you mind? I'm trying to... Wait, you can understand me? Uh, yes. W what's wrong, Horsey? Why so depressed? Please, call me Noss. Horse was my father's name. <laughs> okay, f fine. I can't believe I'm cancelling a horse. It all started when I made some bad choices in life. You see, I used to be an army horse. Oh, wow. You must have seen a lot of battles. Yes, but I lost my job after I got hooked up on antidepressants. My wife loved me. I started working as a cart horse. And that's terrible. My life has no purpose now. What else can I do? Uh... Everything in life is a gift if you know how to use it. So stay positive in life. She's right. I need to start believing in myself rather than hiding away from the pain. And right now this horse needs me. Isn't that my job? To help others? Hey, uh, Nas, look. Even I take antidepressants. Oh, so you're also in the same position as me. Yes, and you know what? What? What did you do? You need those pills, don't you? Nope. Not anymore, because I realized today that I can't hide away from my problems forever. I need to own up to them. How can I help others if I can't help myself? So, screw the medication and screw society's term for being normal. What about you? You just told me your life story. How did it feel to let it out? Uh, well... I, I actually feel a little better now. Life's hard, no doubt about it, but you know what? It is worth it. Everyone is fighting for something, right? You know, you're right. I was so caught up in my own thoughts that I couldn't see the things important to me. So how about it, Nas? Ready to give life another chance? I'll help you along the way. Yes, I will. Thanks for your help. No problem, Nas. No, I will now reclaim my true name from when I was in the army. Call me Awesome Nas. Sure, uh, Awesome Nas. I hope to see you again. You too, miss. It feels good to be back in the game. Starting tomorrow, I'll get back to work. I just hope there isn't a large pile of work waiting for me. <laughs> you bet there will be. Alright, so is there anything over here? Oh, that's new. Hello. Hey, um... Um, hello. Would you like a ticket to a kids show for charity? That depends. What's your top score? Uh, top score and what? What? You don't even know about the Razzling Dazzling Punch Game Extreme Edition! Uh, Razzling Dazzling what now? Tell you what, if you manage to defeat my high score of 45 punches, I'll buy 3 tickets from you. Uh, deal. What are the rules? Are you ready? Start! What? <laughs> Is that drag? Oh, come on, click, 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 click. It's starting to hurt. Okay. Oh, 71. Not bad. I could do better because I think I missed clips, but okay. What? You beat my high score? More importantly, that punching bag looked way too similar to someone I know. <laughs> a bet is a bet. I lost. I shall take three tickets from you. It will be a good change of mood for my friends when they are done with their business here. This is the final place I haven't looked yet. Oh wait, who's that? 
Where are you, my fated one? Um, excuse me, are you looking for someone? Oh, pardon me, I didn't see you there. Did you lose someone? You look stressed. Do I? Because it's unnatural for me to show emotion. That's not a healthy habit. Sometimes letting your emotions go can be a lot relieving. How strange. You speak wise words and I don't sense any malice behind it. Usually when people speak I can sense their inner emotions and it disgusts me. That just means you're hanging with the wrong crowd. You should try to broaden your horizons a bit. Hmm, interesting theory. I should check it out. Meanwhile, I can I help you with anything? You approach me on your own, right? Some kids are holding a charity event today with a play and I was hoping we'll buy a ticket for the event. How nice. It will be a good distraction when I'm done with today's work. But let's make it more interesting. How about a game of rock, paper, scissors? Uh, why? Because it's fun, so how about it? Okay, fine, let's go with it. For some reason, Amber is unable to say no. I, I guess I can make time. Wonderful! Let's begin. Rock, paper, scissors? Is this luck based? I don't know. Uh, paper? Yeah? Oh, come on. Scissors. <laughs> I lost. One more time. You're on. Rock, paper, scissors. Again, paper. I'm a lucky bastard. What the? You choose rock. I win. How did you do that? Hmm? Do what? How very interesting. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just that this is the first time I've ever lost in rock, paper, scissors. I don't feel bad. Sometimes things don't go the way it is supposed to. Yes, I agree. I would definitely like to meet you again later. Give me two tickets. If I complete my mission today, I'll be able to bring my lady with me. Thanks for your support. Wait, this is Adam and... Her well, I should get going now. Thanks for a great time, miss. Class first, Officer Amber Hart, at your service. Thank you, Officer Amber. I'll most certainly try to make it to the show. Thanks, uh, I didn't get your name. I usually don't give out my name to strangers, but I want to make an exception for you. My name is Adam. Like Adam and Eva. Eva, the one that Drag has had had many encounters with. Um. Oh wait, didn't I had... Didn't I have the potato to give to the chef? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, chef, I've got some potato for you. Hey, chef, I'm back. Booking up, booking up. I can feel the soul of a good person the potato. Give it to me. Uh, here you go. Oogity boogity, automata god, I offer this evil soul as a part of my monthly subscription to you. Boogity. Oogie Bugatti, this flash of light means that the tomato gods are very pleased with the offering. Oogie Bugatti, I don't know how to thank you, young worshipper. Well, I'm trying to sell these tickets for a charity show. Maybe you can come to see it? Oogie Bugatti, make it too. I would like to bring my girlfriend too. It's our two weeks anniversary. How nice. Best of luck to both of you. Oogie <laughs> I did it. Can you believe it? I actually managed to sell 25 of these in one day. But at what cost? At what cost? Stop being so melodramatic. It wasn't that bad. Only a dog will know another dog pain. I don't expect you to understand. Let's go back. We have a show to attend. Darkness envelops me. My dog may fail me. Please note, it's not an intended pun. Alright guys, that was the end again. Next episode, we'll get to see the play and whatever comes next. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That way I actually know you enjoyed it and I keep on giving you the content that you want. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way we'll see you in the next video. Ciao!